Smoking contributes to many common disorders of the digestive system, including heartburn, peptic ulcers, liver disease, and many more. The esophageal sphincter is a muscular valve that keeps the stomach contents within the stomach. Smoking weakens the esophageal sphincter. This can result in reflux and heartburn symptoms. Smoking may even directly injure the lining of the esophagus, making it more susceptible to damage from reflux. Research suggests that smoking might increase a person's risk of infection with Helicobacter pylori, a bacteria which causes most peptic ulcers. Furthermore, smoking can reduce blood flow and secretion of mucus at the lining of the stomach or duodenum, slowing the healing of existing ulcers. Smoking may worsen liver diseases like primary biliary cirrhosis and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Smoking alters the ability of the liver to handle substances such as medication and alcohol. In some cases, this may influence the dose of medication needed to treat an illness. Current and former smokers have a higher risk of developing Crohn's disease than non-smokers. People who smoke are more likely to have more frequent and severe symptoms, need more medication to control their condition, have more complications, require surgery, have symptoms recur after surgery. Smoking is a risk factor for mouth, lip, and larynx cancer, as well as cancer of the esophagus, stomach, liver, pancreas, colon, and rectum. Can quitting smoking reverse these effects? Former smokers who no longer smoke may continue to be at a higher risk of some digestive diseases, such as colon polyps and pancreatitis, versus people who have never smoked. However, quitting smoking can reverse some of its harmful effects, improve the symptoms of some digestive conditions, or prevent them from worsening. If you or your loved ones smoke and also experience digestive health concerns, do reach out to your gastroenterologist to assess your condition.